Hi, I'm John from Ride Upstate, and man, sometimes it can be really difficult to be an Uber driver. You get a ride, the money's good, it's going in the direction you want it to go, and you get there and you have to cancel for whatever reason. But Uber makes it very difficult, and Lyft does too, to do that even if the reason you're canceling is because the passenger is violating Uber and Lyft's policies or what they're asking you to do is illegal. The two biggest issues with this that come up are unaccompanied minors and car seats. I can't tell you the number of times that I've arrived somewhere and someone comes walking out with a small child and no car seat and they want me to take them somewhere. I accepted that trip but in order for me to cancel, I have to do a number of uncomfortable things. Number one, I have to deny them access to my car. Number two, I have to sit there and talk to them about why I can't take the ride. Number three, I have to wait five minutes before Uber or Lyft will pay me. And in Lyft's case, they want you to call or text the passenger before you cancel the ride. And that's just not something when it comes to a policy violation or something that's outright illegal, that's not something we should have to do as drivers. And if we do have to do it, we should be compensated appropriately. Let me give you an example of a recent ride that happened, and I'm still working with Uber support to get this resolved. I took a $20 trip for about five or six miles. I got to the pickup location and when I got there, I started waiting. The timer's going off and suddenly I see a boy and his younger siblings. The boy was probably 11 or 12 years old and his siblings were four, five, six years old, and they were coming towards the car. And there wasn't a single adult in sight. So I rolled down the window and I told them, I'm sorry, I, I can't take you because I can't take unaccompanied minors. Now, here's the tough thing. I have to now sit and wait in my car for five minutes before I can get that cancellation fee. And I understand Uber's point in this is they don't want you just selecting unaccompanied minor every time you decide to cancel a ride. But in this case, that was certainly the case. And I have dash cam footage to prove it. I even have chats from the mother who ordered the ride complaining to me that she's going to get all her money back because all the other drivers who've come since September have given these children rides. What other drivers do affects me. And something like this is a problem. And I get it. This may have been a single mother. She may have very little income. But there are school buses available to take these children to school. I sympathize. But there are policies, and I could get in trouble for riding these kids around, especially the younger ones who actually should have been in car seats. Now, when I finally did wait the agonizing five minutes to cancel my ride and select that it was an accompanied minor, that $20 trip turned into $4.18. That's right. The $10 surge that had been attached to that original ride was not awarded to me. And I was given $4 for my trip. For the 15 minutes total, I think, maybe a little bit more, that I had to wait to, uh, to cancel this ride. Uber and Lyft really need to do better when it comes to this. We're enforcing your policies of no unaccompanied minors. We're enforcing the policies and the laws that say if a child is under a certain age, they have to be in a car seat or a booster. And we're not compensated appropriately. Now, I could have just canceled the ride and been on my way and not taken the pay. 
And honestly, if it had been a different situation, I normally would have done that. But in this case, I was on my way to work and I didn't have time to take another ride. And so I really wanted to get paid for this because I went a little bit out of my way to pick this person up. So tell me, what do you think about this? Do you think we should be paid the surge on top of our cancellation fee? Or do you think Uber should just pay us the normal cancellation fee plus any kind of wait time? Let me know. I'd like to hear from you. And as always, remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits or driving around unaccompanied minors.